Welcome to Comic Book Zero. And I am Mr. Nappy, comic book aficionado of anything Marvel. And I am Chuck Flamingo, and I am not. Which makes me the perfect person to go to the fringes of the Marvel Universe and bring back an artifact to my expert here to see if I found a hero or a zero. I'm really afraid of what kind of fringe this guy is going to go to, but let's try, let's try it out and see what <laughs> we get here. Well, the fringe is Stan Lee's trash can, and I brought back the human fly. I think there is like a soiled banana peel on the cover there somewhere, is there? No, uh, no, 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 uh, no, that's fine. It's covered I in plastic. It was in a trash can. So <laughs> I wasn't sure. Well, this one was actually given to me by a friend. Okay. He was at a flea market. He heard we were doing a podcast about comic books. And he gave it to me because on the cover, it looks like there's a Lucha Libre guy. Uh -huh. And he is attacking a very atypical uh, 70s black guy with an afro. And platforms. And platform shoes, sunglasses. And this comic book is from the 70s. Wow. And they, drew, they exaggerate the muscles really well in the yeah. 70s. A lot of shading along the pectorals and all the muscle contours. It was a different time for a different, and everything is large. Like, like, uh, would you say that that's more like a testosterone, steroid-looking kind of superhero, and everybody's drawn the same way? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Very uh, good. It's like a, uh, you know, like the WWE wrestlers and stuff yes, like that. Yes, exactly. Well, I just love that he has a cape and a cane. The guy's pimping. Now, I just love the top tagline here. The wildest superhero ever because he's real. I actually looked him up. He is real. I'll talk to him and talk about that later. But let's go ahead and read this comic. And we're back. To sum up the plot for The Human Fly. Well, is he no Captain America? Is he some kind of like a... Uh, I mean, the guy has <laughs> just got so many moves to him. And the kids love him. Of course the kids dig him. He does charity events for orphans. He's. I really have no idea what his superpowers are. I think he's just a street-level acrobatic kind of right. superhero. So The Human Fly is a stunt guy. And in this comic, he is on vacation doing a PR of stunt. Of course he is. In Funland. Do you know where Funland is, by the way? Oh, it's in uh, New York, obviously. Oh, oh of course. <laughs> A.K.A. Pony Island. <laughs> so there's some quick investigating. The Human Fly, that's just his name, discovers that... Funland is a front for a chop shop. It gets to a scuffle with some gangsters, and then he saves the day by exposing the chop shop. It's so sad. Really. I mean, I, I mean, I wanted those shade at the writers of this comic book, but <laughs> at the same so time, cheesy. it's cheesy. But look, the audience they're trying to get is probably like young teenagers, like impressionable, like 12 year olds or something. I don't know. I think the other great part of it is that they keep mistaking him for other superheroes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's like and, <laughs> and it's just like, who are you, Spider Man? Or is it like Captain America? Or who, who is this dude? Yeah, like, since really? he, he sees him, he's in all red, they think he's a Daredevil. How Daredevil. does he see through that, out, that outfit? Can you describe his, his facial like, <laughs> uh, mask there? Can you just describe it for me? Okay, so the mask. It is a Lucha Libre mask that covers his entire head. It's red. There's a yellow cross across his face. And his eyeballs are just black. But, you know, superheroes, they always have, like, different colored eyes. They don't have human eyes, right? No. no. Well, uh, Spider-Man has white eyes. Um, usually you have that white thing with... If, they, if you see through it, they have those eyes that don't have pupils in them. Just the white to their eyes kind of deal. Well, people don't recognize them in real life or whatever. Is that it looks like, look at his eyes there. Oh, he has the white eyes thing. Yeah, so like, there's holes in the eyes, but you still don't see his pupils, which is how they... So I'm like, well, is he possessed? Well, I have to say, dude, just to be honest, I love this one. Okay. I really liked it. Okay. Because he, he didn't go out to solve crimes. He has a publicist. He's just on vacation. He's on vacation. Show. His Trying publicist is like, this would be great, because there's a, there's a newspaper lady... Mm -hmm. Who thinks he's up to no good, but really, he's just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay. He is a John McClane of superheroes. Okay. <laughs> All right. And at the very end, the gangsters chase him up uh, one of those, what's it called? The spinning ride or the chairs? You hang off the chairs. It was yes. always a... Okay, so he's on there. He's in trouble. Mm -hmm. His publicist stops the thing, which allows the cops to capture the gangsters. He is, so he didn't actually stop the villains. Mm -hmm. And after it's all said and done, the kids, they see all this. They're like, oh, wow, Mr. Fly, you are just terrific. Yeah, super cool. And Mr. Fly says, no, kids, anyone could have done what I did with the proper training. I'm rolling Come my on. eye. You, you should see the eye roll that I'm doing right now but because uh, I'm just... <laughs> 
It's but just like the human fly. You can be the human fly. Yeah. Anybody can be the human Anybody fly. Anybody can be Batman. Anybody can be Daredevil. No, no, no. no okay. okay, all right. So Batman has a billion dollars. Mm-hmm. That's my understanding of Batman. Yep. So he is a superhero because he has money that he inherited with his parents. He's okay. not special. All right, Spider-Man was bitten by a radioactive spider, and that's like getting struck by lightning. It doesn't happen every day, so he can't be Spider-Man. Yep, exactly. All right, he can't be Captain America, because that's uh, the movie. It was some type of genetic experiment or something. Mm-hmm. All right, accident, boom. Hulk, it's an accident, boom. Yes. So Everybody has something. Any- radioactive bitten by a spider. Oh, I got some chemicals <laughs> spilled all over my face. Now I'm blind, but I can see. Oh, I got a super serum, and it's just a wonderful thing. Let me put in a super serum, you know. What does he have? He has training, and he loves kids. He has training. Six weeks of training. And Six now weeks he... of training. I mean, he is the accidental superhero. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Oh, okay. What? Okay. I'm just saying. I mean, Wolverine had training, but he also you know, he, was a mutant. Th- didn't he also have like memory problems? So he, he yeah, just... because they they took out his memories. They, they memories. took out his memories, but the training stayed. Right. How? The training stayed because all he did was wipe out his long term memory, his short term <laughs> memories, because his reflexes are good. They took out, they selected choice memories to take out of his out of his mind. So you know, this guy, all he's a guy in a red suit and a mask. Leaping around. Leaping around. Yeah. He's doing like, uh, what do you call those guys? That He's a stunt man. Yeah, but what do you call those those street guys that they run around and they jump through from wall to wall? Oh, parkour. Dive? Yeah. He's that. That's who he is. What's wrong with that? This is 1970s. This is before parkour. And he's a superhero? And he's a superhero. Well, he, they don't really call him a superhero. He's I a do, stunt devil. I do not approve the superhero stuff there, for real. Okay, well, let me tell you about the real human fly. Okay. First off, he's Canadian. A real American hero. <laughs> well, they didn't say anything about him being an American hero. He's Canadian. We can't grow home, grow our own heroes. We gotta go. We gotta outsource them. Okay, <laughs> okay, so in the 70s, he did the stunt where he walked on a DC-30. While the DC-30 was flying over a desert, he would walk from one uh, edge of the wing to the other. Mm-hmm. While it was flying, so he had to climb over the, the main fuselage, mm-hmm. and he broke Evil Knievel's record for jumping the most buses with a rocket-powered bike. Yes, a rocket-powered bike, man. Wow. Yeah. I mean, Batman has a rocket-powered car, and you say he's a superhero with Evil, training. Evil Knievel wasn't a superhero, and he had a To some kids, he was a superhero. He's an icon. I would, you he's know, an icon. He's a wrestling act. <laughs> That's what he is. That's, <laughs> well, it, so I'm is this guy. He's, he's a wrestling act. Okay, well, okay, imagine, like, a Netflix show. It's a comedy. Mm-hmm. All right? So, the Avengers, they destroy a city, because that's kind of what they do. All right? And they need a PR guy. Mm-hmm. So they send out the human fly, and people think he is a real superhero, but What's he's that? not. It'd be great. He, it's all like Die Hard know, over and over with the human I, fly. I don't want to come off to the audience as Mr. Skeptical or anything like that about this guy. I mean, the story was pretty good. It was cheesy. I love the cheese. But at the same time, this guy, I can't put him in a class of a superhero. I could put him in a class of a, a vigilante with just a little bit of combat skills, one good bullet takes him out, you have no more human fly. Would you go to a movie to see this this guy? I would, yes, because oh, it's more dangerous for him to be shot. I would rather and... see a Mad Max movie than see human fly. Well, everyone would like to see a Mad Max movie over the human fly. Here we go. But I'm not saying a movie, I would say like a Netflix show. Uh, it would have to be <laughs> done a whole lot different. they have to rewrite everything. Read no, it, it, make it set have, in the 70s. He needs to have wings and about a thousand eyes. I need to see... Okay, well, isn't there something, you know, with Spider-Man, he was just a kid, something happened to him, mm-hmm. and he takes that to become a hero. That's what I know from the movies. Yeah. So he's a normal person. Yeah. All these other superheroes I, I think you listed off were normal people to begin with. Yeah, Maybe. All normal people, they crawl, but Spider-Man crawls on walls. He oh, yeah, he crawls webs. on walls, he but is, this is... He's hes technically sound. He's, he's a scientist. He creates all of his stuff. He's, you know, every day he's coming up with new spider well, skills. Isn't he a hero for raising money for charities, for orphans? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, well, all right, final verdict. Do you think he's a hero or a zero? I think he is a one. I wouldn't put him as a zero, or maybe 0. 0.5. He's a 0. 0.5 because he's a 0. 0.5 hero. Yeah, and and I'm future podcast. You're gonna hear, gonna hear some some really interesting heroes. I won't call them all corny, 
but we will we'll go dive into the de- the dump the duster bin, which is Marvel Comics, and failed ideas is what I like to call them. They're <laughs> no longer like your Avengers, X Men, Defenders, Spider Man, Hulk type of deals. These are guys who did not make the cut for the D list or the C list or the B list for that matter. Um, but we're gonna have some fun like talking about these these uh different characters. What could have been. And just, you know, maybe we won't do something like an ad memoriam like they do on The Walking Dead. But, I mean, this guy is probably the best one we're ever going to do. It could be possible. I think. <laughs> Some redeeming qualities. He actually has a personality um, that you can kind of see that, you know, he's not a there's no need to fear underdog is here kind of person. But he is in himself so somebody who's doing right. And I, I thought, eh. And also, since he is a real person, you could draw real, real exactly. life inspiration. This is what I'm saying. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, well, I think he is a hero, flat out. Mm-hmm. All right, he's okay. he's fun. He's goofy. It's it's no. You want him on an Avengers roster? You would go see a movie with him on the Avengers roster. Like what? Okay, you... no, no. Here's what I want. I want like a scene where like Tony Stark is trapped in a room, and the only person like in the building is the human fly. And he doesn't know things are going on until he gets a call. And he, human fly has to do human fly things, like gymnastics or jump a bike over something. Then doing scientific things like drill a hole in the wall oh, to get Iron Man out. Or, or something to save Tony Stark or something. Okay. He is a minor character Let in a big ask. scheme, but in like human little... Human fly could stop Loki. He could handle himself <laughs> or, you know... Oh, no, when the, the battle is and... over, he'd be the one cleaning up the streets. He would be dead. <laughs> he would be dead no, fighting be cleaning the, up the streets. If he fought the Shatari, he would be dead. If he fought... What's the Shatari? Shatari, the, remember the, 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 the first Avengers movie, the things that came out of the sky, the big old caterpillar things? That were oh, the aliens. Out. Yes, that's the Shatari. Oh. So anyway, <laughs> this guy. Well, as the phone rings, hello, it's the president. I think we have a situation here. We got some aliens coming through. Uh, who do we have, superhero-wise? Spider-Man's out of town. Hulk's not available. Iron Man's busy doing something else. Who do we have left? <laughs> Uh, sir, we have the human fly. He's uh, available. He's a he's a conscious <laughs> guy. He's giving to charities. <laughs> Let's see him. He can save the world. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. Well, that's if his schedule allows it, because he's doing charity that's events around the world. That's all I'm saying. All right, I guess we have to wrap it up. Well, that was the human fly. Go check him out. And also, there he did do a uh, a talk show in Canada. Is this the? So there's it? there's a video. We gotta go cast some checks. But we want to thank you for coming to our podcast today. If you like it, just uh, pass the word along. We're here. And you'll get your education on some really impressive, almost superheroes. Well, I get an education because I don't know any of this crap. Well, my name is Mr. Nappy. I'm Chuck Flamingo. And thanks for listening in.